हेलो हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन स्किल होराइजन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम संजय गुप्ता सो दिस इज डे नंबर ट्वेंटी एंड इन दीज सेशंस लाइक आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग और मे बी यू कैन से वी आर जस्ट रिवाइजिंग द नॉलेज ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स सो दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज आई आई हैव स्टार्टेड सो दैट if you have or uh, salesforce knowledge already and you want to brush up so with these sessions you will be able to do that and uh, if you don't have any salesforce knowledge and you are a beginner and you want to understand salesforce so you can visit skillhorizon.org.in so we are running our online offline uh, salesforce job readiness training program so you can be part of that and you can join those so in today's session i just have one small problem that i'm going to discuss with you so this is about a learning approach that we apply in our job readiness training programs so you will be learning about the concepts you will do some hands on you will be uh, implementing some projects and uh, you can scan these qr code either in instagram or telegram so that you can follow us and on skillhorizon.org.in everything will be available so this is the challenge for today i have a context variable that i'm going to discuss with you so i'm not sure how many of you know about this so but i'm sure many of you have not heard about this like what is trigger dot is executing so basically it is a context variable which is available with trigger right so this generally in uh, many of the interview interview may ask you like do you know uh, this type of context variable or they can ask the other way uh, so basically the purpose of trigger dot is executing let me explain you so if we have a method okay if we have one method and that method you want to call through trigger as well as you want to call it uh, without trigger like non trigger context same method if you want to execute in both the ways so then we can use this context variable so this is the challenge for us today like we need to understand the proper use of this trigger dot is executing context variable so i am going to explain that with the help of an example so i will uh, i will demo you the uses of trigger dot is ex executing like how we can use it so i am just creating a simple class okay and let's say i am naming it as apex demo now here i am writing a method public static void demo okay so this is a method where i i will be implementing this and uh, this this particular uh, feature is very important so if you already know then this will be a just recap for you but if you don't know you need to know the usage of trigger dot is executing okay so we just need to write if trigger dot is executing and else okay so this trigger dot is executing is a boolean context variable it it returns true or false so what we can do we can write system dot debug method called by trigger and then here i am going to write trigger dot is executing right so this particular method will be called and if it is being called through trigger then this uh, statement will execute so for demo purpose we are writing the statement in real time you can write any particular business logic here and i am going to display this trigger dot is executing as well now i'm going to copy this particular statement and and i'm pasting it here so we have if and uh, we have else block in else i'm writing method called by non trigger non trigger means it is not called by trigger it is called from any other method okay from trigger context this method is not being called so that i'm going to explain you right so basically here also i'm uh, writing this trigger dot is, ex is executing so this particular context variable we have implemented here and uh, we are just checking whether your method is being called through trigger or uh, normally so what i'm going to do i'm just saving this code 
now i will be calling this method to through, through trigger first so if we go to account trigger and this is a small uh, concept i know this is very simple but it will be helpful for you if you understand this so from here i am going to call it so apex demo dot demo right so whenever i will be creating any account record so this method will be called and this method will display that particular message so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create an account record and prior to that i will be checking the log so right now there is no log available so whenever i will be creating an account record so logs will be generated and with the help of log we'll be able to see the result so i'm creating new account saving it <clears throat> okay the moment i created account record so account trigger must have executed and this trigger must have called this apex demo dot demo that we have implemented right and uh, here lots of log files are available so i'm going to open them one by one and uh, we'll see the result so this is uh, flow execution so here we won't be finding system dot debug result uh, this is duplicate detector now i'm going to open another one so here we have lots of data so if we check this checkbox so here it is showing method called by trigger and this is showing true part okay true value so trigger dot is executing that context variable is returning true value that is a boolean uh, variable context variable this is boolean so since it is being called through trigger then uh, this is happening right now one more thing i am going to do now i am going to call it without trigger so let's see what happens if we call it without trigger so i am going to open this anonymous window because through anonymous window we can call any method so i am going to call apex demo and uh, uh, this demo so this method i am going to call now i am going to open the logs if i click on execute so this method will be called one more time so it got executed log is opening and uh, here if you see it is showing method called by non trigger and result is false right so this is how important it is so in in real time scenario also there might be situation like you are implementing one method and uh, that method you might be uh, like one part of the method you want uh, like if it is being called through trigger then only it should execute and the other part of the method you want like if it is being called from non trigger uh, so non trigger means from any other class or any any way like if trigger is not involved and that particular uh, method where you are defining the code is being called so this way you can categorize it so with the help of this context variable we will be able to categorize right so uh, i just picked this small issue for today that i explained you and uh, uh, i think uh, in the next session as i promised you so i am preparing some of the uh, examples for custom setting and custom metadata type so in one of the session we are going to discuss about custom setting and in one of the session we will be discussing about custom metadata type because lots of folks uh, uh, requested like can we have some examples on that so in two different sessions i am going to cover those and uh, what i thought uh, in in like th this type of hands on also i will be uh, including like where uh, some some hidden features that you have not used a lot so those type of features also i will be including in these sessions so that because you know, we need to do uh, 100 uh, challenges so in those challenge along with pure hands on i will try to have some uh, specific features also so that you will be able to revise those and if you are going for any interview so it will be helpful ओके या हेलो शिवम आई एम गुड हाउ आर यू सो या अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस लाइक सिंस वी हैव सम टाइम टुडे एंड फ्यू आई कैन सी फ्यू फोक्स आर लाइव सो कैन यू सजेस्ट मी सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स ऑन विच यू वांट हैंड्स ऑन चैलेंजेस बिकॉज Uh, flow i already covered 
trigger few scenarios i have completed so 20 sessions are already done uh, so if you if you can share some of the suggestions so those type of scenarios i will be including in these sessions just type in the chat if you need any particular session so we have lots of topics like integration lwc uh, those also i will be covering uh, trigger and test class little bit we already covered uh, i will be having asynchronous apex one feature uh, from um, like all the all the features that we have apex uh, like future method uh, queuable schedulable so those uh, also we will be doing so if you have any specific requirement okay if so like if you if you are uh, watching this and uh, you uh, you want to just share any detail like this particular topic if if you can revise so i can pick scenarios from there so you can share in the chat i will go through okay so this is what i prepared for you today so we discussed about the trigger dot is executing context variable uh, in this session so in upcoming session we will be discussing about few more features okay so this is it for today thank you